Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, the video I'm about to show you, um, it was going to be a, um, a like a sunset swipe um, with Cell Activator. I did that, it, I just wasn't happy, it went a bit wrong. So I ended up turning it into a patchwork swipe. Really beautiful colours, sunset colours. Um, so the, the painting evolved a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. So it's going to end up as a kind of sunset patchwork swipe. Um, but there's, there's a process to it because it, it didn't go as planned. Um, so um, here it is. These are the colours that I'm going to use. Um, so you can see blues, purples, pinks, reds, orange, yellow, white. Um, so most of these are Amsterdam paints, except that that's the Pebio iridescent um, violet blue. That's an iridescent yellow. That's a new yellow, actually. I've not used this one much before. This is um, Naples Yellow Deep. So it's a really quite nice soft yellow. Pebio Iridescent Orange Yellow. Pebio Iridescent Violet uh, Red Blue, sorry. Amsterdam White. Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Persian Rose. De La Rowney. That one is this one, Deep Violet by De La Rowney. Um, manganese blue, king's blue and crimson I think by Amsterdam. So they're all originally from these bottles which are my Dutch pour bottles but I wanted them slightly thicker so I've poured some into the little cup and then I've just poured a little extra little squirt of paint in so they are just fractionally thicker so they leave just a fraction of a second a, a mound and a trace they are just slightly slightly thicker than Dutch pour paints. I'm using a box canvas. It's a canvas I've used before, so I've just primed it with gesso. It is 16 inches by 12, so just over 30 centimetres by just over 40 centimetres. Um, so I put the push pins in the back, so it's not it's it's sat proud of. Oh, that's my cell activator. Sat proud of the um, worktop, which is great. So my idea is to do something similar to a previous pool that I've done this one um, where I've got a kind of sunset so I'm starting with some yellows um, oranges and reds and going into the pinks purples and blues so I'm going to do it very similarly to this um, but the difference will be is I'm going to use a palette knife to apply my cell activator because I want to try and get a much um, longer stretch of um, the cells and the lacing So if I started, I think I'm going to start in a similar place. I quite like starting off centre up in one corner. Um, so I'm going to overlap my colours. If I did, like, let me just draw on roughly where I want everything to go. I think it's a good idea just to roughly sketch how you want it to be, because then you can just use that as a guide. This would be blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow. So that's roughly, I think, that how I'm going to, to do this. But I'm going to have the colours overlapping quite a lot. Um, so I want, I want yellow. But I was going to say I want white. Do I want white? White. I'm going to do some white right in the centre here. And then let's just pop some yellow on and then I'm going to overlap all the colours. So it still pours really nicely like it would if it was Dutch pour paint. Oh, that's a bit lumpy. That's not good. You can see the lumps in the paint. I'm using these tiny, tiny stir sticks and I don't think they're very good. I think I should have just used a bigger stir stick even with the tiny little cup. So the red, actually, I'm going to divide that into two. So I've got the deep red here, and then I've got the iridescent red. And then the pale pink. So 
Oh, oh, look at all these lumps. Oh, I can't use these stir sticks up again. I, I really did stir them, stir the paints well. I think it's just because they're so small, they're just going to take so much extra stirring. So all I'm effectively doing is stirring it now on the canvas. <laughs> so I'm um, just trying to smooth out those lumps in the paint. Right, so that's lots of lovely paint on the canvas. So I'm now just going to dab it all just to get the canvas covered. So I've touched all the canvas, so it's all completely covered. What I've also done is encouraged lots of drips over the edge. I'm not sure how I will finish the edges yet, but I did recently, what I did with the painting was actually painted in between the drips and it looked quite effective. So might well do that. So I'm just going to pour some of the cell activator onto my spatula, my palette knife, sorry. And I think instead of doing a completely round bit here, I think I'm probably just going to swipe off and over this edge. Not sure. Right, I did come round in a curve. Okay. I wasn't quite sure how I, if I'd be able to get that round angle. So I'm not very happy with this. And the reason for that is the circle isn't perfect enough. So I tried pulling my palette knife through it to try and create um, that, that movement. And it's kind of worked, but there's a big bulge here where the pink hasn't blended properly. I'm just not that happy. Um, so I think, I, I love the layout of the colours, so I think I'm going to use that, keep this, and I'm actually just going to swipe over the top. Um, may even just do a patchwork swipe with Cell Activator to see how that comes out. I've done a couple of patchwork swipes with silicon oil recently, um, with PVA glue, water, pouring medium, whereas this is obviously Floatrol and Cell Activator, so I'm going to try that instead. So I've got a piece of laminated plastic here, so this time I'm just going to 
put that into the end of the cell activator and then I'm just going to swipe across into, into little patches. Right, I've finally, finally finished and I'm happy, <laughs> much, much happier. Um, the, the shape I did before had to be spot on. It had to be perfectly round. This doesn't. This is all over the place and what a jumble, but what a beautiful jumble it is. Just look at this. It, the cell activator, I think, works best over these dark colours, the white cell activator, that is, over the dark blue, dark purple. Absolutely beautiful. Um, it's not quite so obvious here over the lighter colours, but you can still see it. And then lighter still over here where you've got the yellow and you've got more white, but you've still got beautiful cells and beautiful lacing. Um, I re-swiped a few sections a few times just to get a crisper edge. Really happy. I really like the composition. I really like the flow of this. So you can still almost see that sort of sunrise, sunset um, um, composition. Um, so I will be back when it's dry. So the painting is now dry. Um, it's dried really pretty well. I'm slightly disappointed you haven't got the perfect definition of all the boxes. Um, and I had contemplated actually painting on some lines, but I think it would just stand out too much. I think it would look too much. But wow, the lacing is beautiful. I love how you've got blues and purples, which is really striking. And then it just swaps over to the sort of oranges, reds, pinks, and then up to a bit of yellow. So the details are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I still prefer the detail of the darker colours. Uh, I think it's just because of the contrast. Um, but look at that section. You've just got a bit of a mixture there. Uh, I think that's probably my favourite. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased I ended up doing the patchwork swipe because it just, I wasn't happy without it. Um, now, I've got a question to ask everyone. What do you think of these edges? So the paint, as you can see, just dripped down the side and I was going to just colour, paint in the whole of the edges, but I decided just to paint purple in between the drips. Um, and then if I go close, I'll show you what I've done. I've then used a black pen just to highlight around the edge of the purple to make it look like it's got a bit of depth. I'm um, not sure if I'm going to keep it like this, but that, that's what I've done just as an experiment. I think it looks quite effective. Um, maybe I should have done black in between the drips. Not sure. So please tell me what you think, because I can leave it like this um, or I can change it. I can paint the whole edge one solid colour. I can paint the purple bits black. I'm not sure. It was just a bit of an experiment to try and make the most of those drips. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.